All right, here we go. 2024 AP Physics 2 free response questions. Um, sorry, I did not expect them to release the questions so early, so I wasn't quite ready to do all of them. Um, if there are any corrections, I will put them as a pinned comment um, below. All right, uh, so we have a photoelectric effect experiment. Scientists use a device to shine light on a single frequency in two different metals. It can emit light with frequency FA, FB, or FC. Each frequency light is used to test both metals. Scientists determined the minimum de Broglie wavelength of the electrons ejected from each metal in the, each trial of the experiment. The following summarizes the results of the experiment. For each trial, the scientist analyzes only the electrons with the minimum de Broglie wavelength. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, in a coherent paragraph length response, indicate which frequency is the greatest and which frequency is least, and justify your answer using physics principles. So we want to know um, not which work metal, but just whichever one tends to do this. Now, the Bro de Broglie wavelength just is H over P. And this is Planck's constant over MV. So we want to think about is how does this relate? So basically you want to think about it as we want to think about the energy. Because remember with a photoelectric effect, we light shines on the metal. If we exceed the work function, then we will eject. Um, we will eject the electrons with some kinetic energy. So um, remember the work function is equal to HF. So the lower... Um, like, so what's going to happen is if we're, so this is a very small frequency because um, what has to happen is the, the FB is the, it has to be the smallest frequency because it's generating the least energetic photons. And it's not enough energy to cause any electrons to be ejected. So FB is the smallest. Okay, for sure. Because there's just not enough energy to cause any electrons to be ejected. Now for these guys, what happens is we eject electrons and any excess energy goes into the kinetic energy of the photon. So you have an incident photon, it loses some energy, right? Due to, you know, there's enough, there just needs to be enough energy to cause the electron to escape the metal. And then any leftover is kinetic energy. So whichever one has more kinetic energy means there was more energy in their photons. Right? And so let's take a look, um, let, comparing the same metal, for example, this one did this one. So we have a smaller wavelength. So between FA and FC, we definitely have a smaller wavelength. This is smaller, which means the velocity is greater, right? Because it's the electrons that all have the same mass and H is a constant. So it's a greater velocity. And so because it's a greater velocity, it's more kinetic energy. That means FC has to be a higher frequency. So FC has to be greater than FA for that reason. Do you guys understand that logic? Smaller wavelength larger velocity larger velocity means more kinetic energy more kinetic energy means that this must have had more energy of the photon and you want to compare the same metal by the way because the two different metals might have different work functions okay so let's put that all together in terms of frequency principles right so first let's outline the process of the photoelectric effect right so an incident photon hits a metal and if there's enough energy she uh an electron is ejected because the photon's energy oops because the photon's energy is proportional to the frequency. This implies that um, FB has the least energy, has the is the is smallest because it could not eject any electrons. Right? So that's the smallest amount of energy. Now, between FA and F, now we're going to make that argument between FA and FB. Well, the wavelength is inversely proportional to velocity. So a smaller wavelength implies a larger kinetic energy. Right? Larger kinetic energy. Now, um, for metal one, for example, um, FC in metal one, FC resulted 
in a smaller wavelength or more Ke. So the photons in metal in FC had more energy. And that implies that FC is greater than FA. Okay, so that's probably everything that I would outline there just to spell out what's happening. Calculate the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons ejected from metal one in trial one. Assume that the moment of an ejected electron can be described by the classical de de definition P equals MV. So um, we want to know what the maximum kinetic energy here was, right? And so here we're gonna say, again, lambda is equal to H over MV. Um, and then we can solve for V, which implies V is equal to H over lambda M. And H is a Planck's constant. So we're going to use Planck. Um, yeah, I, yeah, it, um, yeah, I, I think we're just going to use, um, use numbers for this calculation. So let me pull up Planck's constant. That's 6.63 times 10 to the negative, um, negative what? Negative 34, right? Yeah, 34. Divided by the wavelength we got, which was 6.9. Wait, this is a trial one. Okay, 6.9 times 10 to the negative 10. And then the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. And that's gonna give us a speed. And that's gonna be 1.05 times 10 to the one, two, three, six meters per second. So then the kinetic energy is going to be one half mv squared. And we use this mass here and this velocity. So 0.5 times 9.11 e minus 31 times this number squared. And I get 5.07 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay. And then let's take a look at the next part. All right. Let's see the work function of metal one is greater than, less than, or equal to the work function of metal two. Justify your answer. Well, basically, remember, every time you have a photon comes, it loses some energy to the work function, right? There's some energy that has to be absorbed to cause the electron to escape. So whichever one, so you got to think about, remember, the smaller wavelength has more kinetic energy. So there's more kinetic energy here than compared to, like, um, metal two. So if there's more kinetic energy, it's got a smaller work function. That means it takes less because these these have the these photons have the same energy. Um, so we would say that between trial one and two, as an example, there's more kinetic energy here, and the photon energy is the same. Therefore, um, this has a smaller work function. So um, it's greater than metal one is. So metal one is less than metal two um, because. Um, between trials one and two. The same energy photon resulted in more kinetic energy for metal one. And that implies it has a smaller work function. Okay, and that is number one.